Hi, Satyarth. Hello, Mita. Sounding so low. What happened? Yes, you know, my grandmother is really unwell these days. She's not in a good state of health. Oh, no. Yes, today we'll be going for a checkup. Let's see what will come out. You know, Mita, I always think that maintaining a good health is such an important thing in life. Yes, really, so true. But what are the reasons that we fall ill? You know, Satya, I have got all the answers of your single question that why do we fall ill? Because this time we have a chapter on why do we fall ill, which covers everything like what is health, what are the types of infections, what actually disease state means. Okay, fine. So let's study. Yes, let's move. Hello to all new students and hello to both of you as well. Okay. Till now you would have understood that what we are going to discuss today. We are going to discuss a very important and basic thing of life that what is health and why do we fall ill. Okay, you know the story that actually Amitabh's mother is, Amitabh's grandmom is really unwell and therefore they want to know that what is this being, what is the state of being unwell means. Okay, so let's try to analyze that why do we fall ill. Okay, now I would like to start with a concept called as body. And if I, if I, you know, talk about this system called as body, I would like to ask you that what this body is composed of at a very, very elementary level. You know that body is composed of cells, okay. These cells, you know, arrange themselves with different, different kind of arrangement and they form group which are called as tissues. And these tissues synchronize with each other and they form something called as organ. Now, if I talk about the body, see, when I'm teaching you, when I'm talking to you, my eyes are working, my brain is working, my ears are working, my hands are working. Isn't it, apart from that, I'm respiring, okay? Maybe I'm not eating, but the process of digestion of some of the uh, molecules would be happening. So, you know, simultaneously, there are so many processes which are happening in my body. So can I say that my body is dynamic? It looks like a static thing. If I just stand here in a retention position and uh, let me be quiet for some minute. It is looking static, but is it static? No, my eyes are seen, my brain is working, my ears are listening. Okay. So obviously, you know, my muscles of this area, they are also working. So, you know, when even if your body is at rest, still it is dynamic because there are so many processes happening. And all those processes happen because of specific organs. Those organs are formed because of combination of tissues and tissues is nothing but the group of cells. So if I talk about organ, I have what, what all system I see connected with, with my organ. I have digestive system, isn't it? Okay. Digestive system basically from the, it is basically the I can say stomach is the prime organ, okay, or I can say the one on the one important organ is kidney, which basically filters blood, isn't it? It filters blood and it removes all the toxic compounds, okay. Then what else? I have lungs for respiration, isn't it? I have brain for thinking this is for respiration and this is for thinking isn't it so basically all these processes are happening now when all these processes are happening in one go this states that body is basically dynamic okay so body system body system is dynamic okay now if for some point of time your kidney stops working when the kidney stops working there is going to be accumulation of some toxic substances in your body okay and that will eventually hinder with other processes as well when the level of a toxic compound increases in your body it can affect your brain it can affect your digestive system 
it can affect your respiratory efficiency anything it can affect okay so so probably you know if some particular organ is dysfunctioning the consequence can be dysfunctioning of other organ also now when so many processes are happening obviously something which is wrong is bound to happen you know if you are suppose you are stuck if if i say that you study this chapter why do we fall ill in just two hours in just one day so if you just study the entire chapter fully even at the end of the day it's not important that you are going to be perfectly fine with each and every line whatever i ask you from any corner of the book it's not possible for you to recall it and to revert it back isn't it so perfection can never be achieved if if you have so many tasks if you have a huge task if you have a complicated a complicated task okay so in that case you you know you are, when your so many systems are working there will be some problem with body and that that problem okay is referred as being ill when that problem starts interfering with the other aspect it is called as being ill okay so that's why we fall ill when any of your body part is actually not functioning properly and it is bound to happen because you have so many processes happening together but still still health is such a thing which is in your hand and you can you know see some things is uh, some things are like you can prevent it isn't it uh, i give you an example you're going with your father and you're telling no i want to eat this pani puri okay from a uh, from a shop which is uh, which is surrounded by a very poor hygienic condition maybe there are you know uh, open drainage lines and all that so obviously you are going there and you are making yourself prone to infection by having the unhygienic pani puri over there because you have so many microorganisms over there so obviously you will be since you are actually exposing yourself to pure high, uh, to uh, you know bad hygienic conditions or unhygienic conditions then obviously you are prone to be ill okay so you know like this if we if we maintain good hygiene okay at personal level as well as well as at other levels okay then also we can maintain the level of hygiene so students this was this was just an introductory part of why do we fall ill and i just want to tell you uh, with reference to the processes which happens in our body that why do we fall ill okay and how in fact we can prevent this illness if we try to come to the uh, parameter of being healthy and what are the important things which we should do in order to be healthy okay so we'll be studying the next part in the next video so i hope you enjoyed this lecture till then keep studying and do keep watching our lectures and obviously keep enjoying thank you